Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this will be a mid-month September 2019 tower reading for my Virgos. Hi my Virgos. Hey, how you doing? I want to apologize. I think, I'm not sure. I think you were one of the three lucky signs that I was able to upload their video for September, but I have done all the sign and for some reason I could not upload the other nine. So I am coming back to you for mid-month September 2019. I hope you enjoy it. I want you to know that before recording your reading, I always meditate and ask spirit for guidance. Okay. Also, if you like to book me for a private reading, the information is below the video. Also, the information on the deck that I'm using is also below the video. Okay. And now let's see what spirit has to say for my Virgo sun, moon rising, any major planet that you have in your um in your chart please look at this video okay it may resonate with you if it doesn't leave it all behind and now let's see what spirit has to say for my virgos eight of cups in the reverse uh, what am i saying in the reverse eight of cups in the right position right the sun in the reverse queen of cups Three of Rods in the reverse, Ace of Pentacles, and Seven of Swords. Interesting. That Seven of Swords came out this month for a lot of sign. This is my hidden agenda card. Okay. Some of you are walking towards a new beginning. You're leaving a whole thing behind you. Okay. It could be a way of life. Maybe you're becoming a, a fully vegetarian or... Rastafarian or whatever, right? You're leaving something behind completely. You're looking for a new beginning and see the Eight of Cups is looking at the night of the Queen of Cups. So you're going to get really, you're going to get some good help, good assistance in order for you to really move on from whatever you're leaving behind. Okay. With the sun in reverse, it's a good energy, right? Even if it's in a reverse, you may still, still somehow, uh, confused okay about the unknown about what you're looking for but you do feel that it's something necessary right so maybe some of you are moving out to a different city like i said maybe some of you are really stopping some really difficult habit or detrimental habit right maybe you are stopping drinking alcohol or partying i say this because the eight of cups cups is about water maybe something that you have really built or that you have consumed or you have created for a certain time you're ready to walk away from that it could be a job right you have so much energy currently in your house the sun is still in a uh, virgo your sign so happy birthday for those that are celebrating now and happy belated birthday for those that have passed i feel that right here with the energy of the eight of cups looking at the sun in reverse is like you have known so many things you have come to understand so many things especially last month right okay so many things about yourself your personal self your personal identity that you really are more secure in just leaving something behind, turning your back, crossing the bridge, right? Whatever it is in your personal situation, this is a general reading. But I feel that the sun here is really to let you know, even if it's in reverse, right? It's in the past position that, you know, wherever you're walking, the universe is really on your side, okay? That nothing really could stop you at this moment, okay? You definitely have the strength, okay, to rebuild or to recreate yourself, your life, whatever you're looking for. Let me actually clarify the Eight of Cups here. Oh, two cards came out. The Two of Rods and the Nine of Swords, right? You are moving out. Like some of you may literally be moving out, moving from something, right? Changing job or leaving countries or something like that. Because he's looking here at like at something He's looking at an opportunity, right? It looks like a globe, right? It doesn't have to be. You could just be looking at his or her future, okay? And the nine of swords in reverse is like a release of anxiety because, like I said, I really feel that you are more certain now. You have gained such a clarity now, okay? And it took some time for some of you to get there. Maybe this year wasn't really easy, right, or challenging, that you are 100% sure or the direction to take, 
okay? You feel secure in doing the appropriate step in going forward, and that could be in your career. Like some of you, let's say you're a lawyer, maybe there's a situation that you're seeing and that you're like, you know what, I'm going to really, regardless of what I have accumulated or whatever, I'm just going to go do, towards the right person, do the right thing, the thing that actually fulfill me because I feel the eight of cups is the nine of cups and the nine of cups is a wish fulfillment so you want something to happen really bad and you have work for that and you're willing to really leave things that are no longer serving you behind let me clarify the sun in reverse the temperance and the five of swords five of swords in the right position the seven of swords be careful just because I feel that you're just the way you're doing it if you're doing too rash you might irate some people, but also I always, this literally came almost in every reading, the same as Seven of Swords. You know, this is all my thief cards or someone who has a hidden agenda. Like you have to come correct. It goes both ways for my cross watches as well. So if you're really in a Virgo's life, you have to be very genuine right now because otherwise they will absolutely expose you or you will be exposed because they have enough strength right now to face any opposition and challenges, right? But you might, my Virgo, that may be you. Maybe you are the one hitting your true identity. You're the one who's, because, you know, the temperance is in reverse. That's also is a major arcana, right? It's all about finding the balance, right? Being in the right place, the right time, finding a balance, touching the ground, being honest, earthy, okay? So by you leaving things behind or you starting something from scratch, be mindful of your beginning or your endings because there's some people here in the back, right? You see in the card where they feel that some reason they are, they could be irate or irate, I should say, right? About your behavior or things that you said. So it is about communication, okay? And that, you know, whenever you put out, it comes back to you. So, you know, what I recommend because it's here and it, in the past and going in the future is really tying up loose end. Make sure that by leaving things behind, you're not being too rash about it. You're not creating hidden enemies because, yes, the sixth house, which is your house, my Virgos, is the house of um, open enemies, right? Okay. And the twelfth house, which is the house just across from you, the Pisces house, is the house of hidden enemies. So especially if you're in the sixth house right now, so you're in your place and you're moving on to the twelfth house, right? you're moving somewhere else, then you're going to, if you're not like tied up, Usain, then there will be, there's chances that there will be some hidden enemies waiting for you, okay? And it's looking at the Ace of Pentacles, so that could affect your, your resource, could affect your money, it could affect your reputation, you want to do that. And the Queen of Cups is turning her back at the Ace of Pentacles, so you want to make sure that you're very clear and honest with the people that are currently supporting you, or the people that are asking for help, or the people that you're going to help, okay? So if you're helping someone or you're in a different direction, but you're looking for something else that you're keeping to your mind, you know, sometimes we all have to have some type of strategy, right, about the future. But mind you here, it's very important that you look at both sides of the coins, okay? Because here the Queen of Cups is in the right position and really she's very strong. That's an ally. That's someone who really is supporting of you, right? Okay, because you're you're looking towards that direction. You're going towards that direction, right? You're going towards the Queen of Cups, wanting to do the right thing. But the Three of Rods here, it's in the reverse. Like someone is not willing to move on from something, okay? Or there's a possibility that, you know, let me clarify the Three of Rods here. For you, my Virgos, let me clarify the Three of Rods. The Ace of Cups, ooh. And the Seven of Pentacles, be mindful, this Queen of Cups seems to have a lot of power. Okay, right now she is your allies, right? Uh, but behind her, just the, the, what she's supporting or what she has access to is like the Ace of Cups in reverse next to the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. The Seven of Pentacles is about really start to working towards a direction, really putting the work towards that, right? So example, if you are now becoming a vegetarian, now you're putting the work into that, right? So you're getting the knowledge, you're starting new routine, right? And the Ace of Cups in reverse, like it's just like, it's like you're not really, it, it doesn't grow because I will say earth and water make things grow. Ace of Cups is water and Pentacles is actually soil, right? It's earth. 
So there's a, there won't be any growth, right? Is the growth will stop, okay? Here, the Queen of Cups has some type of power in terms of you growing forward, right? So why is the, why is, let me clarify the Queen of Cups exactly and see her intentions. Uh, seems to be good because she's looking towards you. She knows you're coming towards that direction. We have the Six of Cups in the right position. So you will be re reuniting with someone. The Will of Fortune uh, in the reverse and the Empress in the reverse. Ooh, see? She could be under the impression that you both going to help each other or collaborate with each other because you'll be reunited with her, but there will be some ending here or the, some unexpected turn of event that really is depending on your behavior, my, um, my Virgos. You know, don't forget in the next few days, a lot of planet will be moving in your second house, right? Second house is going to be a very heavy house. Is your house of income. It also represents the body, right? And to a certain extent, yes, it represents um, the work that you do, how people see your work, how they value your work, right? And Venus will be in Libra. Actually, Venus is in Libra as we speak. The Empress is in reverse here, okay? So it's about you being able to gain, you being able to make some uh, money to increase your finances, okay? Something here that it's stopping, it's possibility here that there's some type of... I want to say this agreement here, okay? Or maybe you're not really going deeper and just like I said, you have to tie up loose end. Things in the past or maybe some that behavior of yours that is not ending or not changing, that could go vice versa for my cross watchers as well. Maybe you're my cross watcher, you're the one who has to change your behavior and my Tauruses are here to heal you, to give you the, the, the nurturing that you need. They want to you know, communicate with you, there will be a reunion, but maybe the lack of cooperation, right? The lack of really willingness to help or fairness, because the Empress is about being fair, because right now it's Venus and Venus is in Libra. It's all about justice, right? So if there is not fair, it's, it's not a, a middle ground between the two of you, that could pos possibly end some growth in your, in some areas of your life, my Virgos, right? And also, Jupiter is squaring you. Jupiter in the fourth house in Sagittarius is squaring you. The, the full moon in Pisces was opposing you. So you have some opposition in moving forward. There's something that is just like, because you're trying to do, I feel that you're trying to do it something. You made a decision. You're trying to do it really quickly and fast and without really tying up loose end or dealing with the people that are claiming things or claiming some things that are still lingering, or they also have a lot of power, okay, the people that you don't see, they have some power, you know, to change the outcome or to slow you down or to create some obstacles. Like I said, the Ace of Cups is in the reverse here. Seven of Pentacles is in the reverse. Seven of Pentacles is about you starting growing in, in your present situation. It's in the present. You starting to really invest and put some roots down and, you know, grow. And that, that is delayed because the Queen of Cups really has some influence in some other areas of your life. The Empress is in reverse. So there's a question of value, work, money here. Some disagreement with that. Investment here, okay? Let me clarify the Seven of, the seven of Swords for you, my Virgos. So we have the Five of Pentacles. In the reverse, it seems to be about money. The Nine of Cups in the reverse and the Page of Cups in the right position. Actually, I like the Five of Pentacles in the reverse because in the right position, let me show you, it's about feeling insecure, not receiving support, feeling lonely, being afraid, okay? Having a lot of insecurities, being hurt, okay? In the reverse is that you may not you may not feel necessarily hurt or insecure but it's still the energy still is around the uh nine of cups so you're maybe you're doing some steps or you're thinking that what you're doing is bringing you know is resolving a situation or but it seems that it's not enough right or it could be on the other side again maybe someone is trying to do something to get you closer 
to um, to bring a solution into some type of uh, issues, okay, uh, issues in your new beginning, issues in you moving forward, and it seems that there's not really an agreement here when one feel insecure and mistreated, not 100%, and one is like suffering from a lack of love, right? Somebody is holding, withholding their love, withholding their affection, okay? The page of cups is still there, though. So there will still be messages coming from other people, messages of encouragement, message, messages of efforts and love, messages of, of support coming your way, even if they are small, right? Or they're not coming directly from your location. It could be from a different place. Those also are very valuable for you in the future. The Ace of Pentacles, Pentacles is there's an offer coming in, an opportunity, right? You may be the one giving someone else the offer here, my my uh, Virgos. Maybe you're going to offer someone some money or offer someone. I feel that it could be both ways because, see, there's a door here. So I feel that maybe you understand that maybe by doing something for someone, right? It may not be literally money, but maybe you're going to offer your service to some towards someone. And that service, that help you're going to give, is going to open the door. It's going to open the door to some healing here. The door, right, with the water here, where you'll be able to heal something from the past. Or you'll be able to heal a situation for someone, make it easy. That's really nice, my Virgos. My Virgos are healers. Most of the Virgos I know are healers, okay? Some are good, and some, I have to say, I'll be very honest, some are, work, are really working from the shadow side, right? And that's the two that everybody has a, a, um, a shadow side, but I find that Virgos is just, it just, you know, it, because it's the open enemy sign, it's the number six, like where, if they do work from the shadow, they do deal with more, much more enemies than other signs, right? But then the other side is where they're coming from a loving heart and they uh, do the healing freely, then actually they have much more gain and much more support than others, right? Okay, let me clarify the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So yes, this offer that you're going to get is going to help someone or someone, a feminine energy is coming your way to help you. Now you have two queens, two important queens that they are really much alike. You have the Queen of Cups here in the present and you have the Queen of Pentacles in the future. Okay, and those two will help you grow, right? Because there are two elements that brings you growth. And those are elements that you actually need in your life for the day-to-day, -day, your day-to-day -day routine. Okay? I feel that you're getting support from someone who truly believes in you. Someone is on your level. Someone who has the same amount of professional skills than you. Someone who truly has a balance of finance where they could actually... Uh, invest in you, okay? Because it's like I said, it, it has to be both ways, okay? But I do feel that um, that you'll be the one giving that offer to that Queen of Pentacles, and that offer could be many things. Yes, it could be an offer of love, right? Even if it's money, or it could be an offer of time. Maybe you'll be putting yourself uh, in the position where you could help someone increase their worth, their money, their value. And that's going to really give you that support that you need because this is an ally, okay? They are both ally, right? Let me clarify the Queen of Pentacles with my other deck. And again, my information, all the information on the deck I'm using um, will be below the video. So I like to do two decks sometimes more just because sometimes I realize, you know, there's a confirmation when uh, cards come out second, sometimes three times. So we have the Knight of Azard, which is the Knight of Pentacles in this deck, okay? So there is definitely a slow and steady vibe of growth. But I do feel that, because it's all about Earth here, I do feel that you're doing a lot of things to reconcile with someone. There's a reconciliation. It may not be you. Maybe someone wants to reconciliate with you. But I feel that because you had a full moon, which your 11th house, is a, it's a karmic house, that you really are looking to do the right thing by someone. And, you know, the nine of, of pentacle is really a slow moving night. So just if you're doing a gesture, it's, small, it's a small gesture, if, or maybe if you've done something or you're giving something, something to someone, you may not see the, 
that person may not be super expressive, okay, but it will definitely do them good, right? Okay, and, and, and or maybe you're investing in something, you may not see the worth of it right away, but it's gonna take time, but it's gonna grow, okay? Okay, I should say it's gonna take time and it will grow, okay? But I'm gonna end this reading here for you, my Virgos. Let me know how this resonated with you. I would please ask to like, share, comment. I love reading your comments, very important. And also subscribe to my channel, it would be very appreciated. And until next time, send you lots of kisses. I love you.